Well, obviously, we're, we're, we're excited about it being game week. Um, we're excited to see, you know, our growth as a football team and, you know, to see if, you know, being a little bit bigger, a little bit older, a little bit more confident is going to produce to a little bit better results this year. Uh, Daz McCollum, I know he played much of last year injured. Uh, how has he looked here in the fall? I've been very optimistic about Daz. You know, he looks like the Daz when I was here prior. Uh, you know, he's moving much better. He's he's a big, naturally strong guy, and I'm I'm excited about to see what he brings to this team. The challenge of starting the season on the road at Starkville, but also against a player like Dak Prescott. You know, what what kind of juice does that give you uh, as a coach? Well, first, it's, it's, if it doesn't give you any juice, if it doesn't make the hair stand up on the back of your neck, you really shouldn't be playing. I mean, this is, a, this is obviously a very big game for, for everybody involved, the state, the school, both schools. Uh, and Zach is obviously one of those guys that's going to cause us a lot of problems just because of you know, how big he is. He can run the football, he can throw the football, and he's got a great supporting cast. So we, we obviously have a huge challenge you know, facing Mississippi State this, year, this week. How comfortable do you feel with those freshman corners going in? Well, we're going to do everything we can to help those guys out. Uh, we don't have any choice right now, uh, you know, so they're going to have to grow up in a hurry. And uh, they're all they're all very good football players, or else they wouldn't be here. And uh, Picasso Nelson has has had a great spring and a very good fall, and he earned the right to start. This uh, linebacking core. Uh moving some people around, getting some new faces in there. Um, how, how would you assess their their performance right now heading into Starkville? Well, the, the, having Alan Howes back in our linebacker core has, has given us a lot of confidence. Just his leadership, his knowledge, getting everybody aligned, getting us you know in the right, right sets and checks has helped. Uh, you know, Brian Anderson gives us a, a player that we didn't have last year, a guy with a natural feel for the football. He's a bigger guy, can play downhill, very strong. When he hits you, he's going to knock you backwards. So, you know, those two guys give us a, a little added dimension. And then with Tarek and CJ playing a lot of football for us last year, that gives us a lot of a lot of depth that we didn't have last year at the linebacking core. And we moved David uh, Bertucci and Justin Penn to the outside Sam position. So. You know, we felt we needed to get bigger and more physical on our perimeter. Uh, and so those two guys out there should help us, you know, solidify the perimeter a little bit. How excited, uh, how excited is Jacorius Cotton to kind of remind everyone who he is on one of the biggest stages? Well, it doesn't take you long to, to know. Jacorius is a high energy player. He's an intense competitor. Uh, he brings leadership, he brings knowledge, and he's got a high football IQ, so having him back there with Emmanuel, who's, they both have had a lot of experience that, you know, like I said, I'm excited about the way, the direction this defense is, is evolving uh, with their leadership, you know, having some of those guys that we, we missed last season back. So, like I said, I'm excited to see our progress as a football team. Can you talk about Brian Anderson and uh, the toughness he's brought to this team? Well, you know, we felt coming out of this last year that we needed a little bit bigger inside guys, guys that, you know, had a little bit better natural feel for fitting the football. And, uh, and he's exactly what we, we needed. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's got a really good feel for the ball. Uh, and he's, he's a high football IQ guy. He's always playing pretty good angles. And uh, he's a strong guy. I mean, he's very strong, naturally strong, and, and he uses his hands well. He separates off of blockers very well. So I'm excited to see him play for us. So much talk about Dak Prescott. What else does Mississippi State do on offense that, you know, call it? Well, he sets up a, a lot of what they do offensively because obviously they, he presents you with a run pass option, uh, you know, and. So anytime your quarterback can run the football, you got to defend him. But now, in order to do that, you know he's obviously has the the play action pass option, and he can throw the drop back game pretty well. So they've got a you know you know they got Jamie on Lewis, who's you know a very capable receiver. They got a great receiving core. So I mean they just they they're pretty well rounded football team right now. And uh, like I said, we're going to have our hands full, but you know our guys are excited to play. How are they up front? Uh, they're big. Big and strong, uh, 
you know, they're, they're returning three starters in their offensive line, so they have some experience there. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they cause you some problems just because of the quarterback run game. I know you uh, talked back before the spring that y'all just kind of tweaked the defense a little bit to counter more power game, power running game. Are you happy with the results you've seen on that side that y'all can better handle that? Yeah, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're a bit more physical up front, Patrick, which should help us. Uh, you know, we've moved some guys around. Dylan Bradley's out there on the edge with Daz now. Uh, Michael Smith is obviously a bigger player, so we got Rakeem back. So uh, stabilizing the defensive front, those guys are the foundation that they've played. Those guys have played a lot of football for us. Um, so, you know, and then backed up with a bigger linebacking core, I think will be bigger and more physical, able to handle more power running game. Bakers, has he been, uh, has he kind of taken another step this fall? Well, Nick is, is right now has been a solid backup for us. He gives us a little bit of a burst off the edge. Uh, Michael's been out, you know, for, you know, being nicked up a little bit. So it's given us an opportunity to develop some guys. You know, Nick's getting an opportunity to show us what he can do. Uh, but Michael will be the starter as of right now. Having that experienced secondary back there, uh, are you planning on maybe having them help out the younger corners when they're on the field? Oh, no doubt. I mean, those two older guys are, are there to lean on. They're, they're in constant communication with everybody on the field. That's what I said. When you, when you have confidence, you know, you'll see us as a defense. You'll see us pointing. You'll see us talking. And that's what the older guys are bringing to us. If you're just struggling to, you know, get lined up and your assignment and what you're doing, you don't have a, a lot of energy or a lot of confidence to bring other people with you. So, like I said, I, I, I'm kind of excited to see the results of having these older guys back there and how well we'll play. But they obviously got to help some of those young guys, and we're going to try to, you know, keep you know those guys and out of you know like play calls and keep them as you know as out of the mix as we possibly can. Coach Munkin said that you know from spring to fall, there's really not too many shakeups or surprises. You kind of know what your team is going to look like. Aside from flipping Anderson with Howells, was there any other surprises throughout fall camp in the depth chart? Well, I think the emergence of some of our young corners, you know, obviously everybody's making a big deal of Picasso because he's a great football player. And uh, But, you know, uh, Joe Mez Applewhite has made great strides. Uh, Trey Collins is, you know, obviously, you know, he was really coming along as a freshman until he hurt his back. Uh, so those guys, you know, uh, I'm excited to see their progression and, uh, you know, see how they've developed, but they should, you know, like I said, I'm happy with the way that they've kind of matured as football players. What's one word to describe your defense right now? Hopefully physical. Uh, I want, you know, like I said, it's, it starts with energy, attitude, and body language, and, and that's what we've been preaching and, and attacking the football. You know, we, we want to make sure that we're, you know, we're not sitting back. We want to get after, you know, attack the balls what we're really looking for the you know the fundamentals of turn the TV on and what do you what do you see we want it to look like it's supposed to look like and play downhill and I think we're doing a better job of that this this fall camp talk about the depth and defensive tackle well you know Rakeem Nunez uh, obviously is, is a very good player for us he, he was injured last year uh, and Adam Williams you know those two guys have played a lot of football uh, for us, and they're two big physical guys inside, uh, you know. And then Will Freeman's, you know, obviously gained a, you know, sizable amount of weight to make him a little bit better backup for 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 those two guys. And then it's still emerging as to you know what we're going to do for that fourth defensive tackle. We got options and flexibility to move, you know, some guys around. We might move Michael Smith in. Uh, if it need be, or we got Draper Riley or Chris Robinson still in the mix. It could be in that, that three or four slot for that DT. We've got, like I said, we've got some guys that we're starting to slowly build some depth in some positions. It's, uh, it's been a while since Southern Miss has played Mississippi State, but Southern Miss actually holds the series lead. Have some fans come up to you and be like, hey, coach, we need to uh, keep, keep the trend going. No, but I've you know there's there's obviously an excitement in 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 Hattiesburg right now about that you know it, there isn't too many conversations that you can talk with people outside of Southern Miss of, about football that don't somehow start with Mississippi State so obviously the environment around here is is a, is electric right now um, 
And like I said, if it, if the hair is not standing on the back of your neck, even at the even at the word, if, you know, mention of Mississippi State right now, then you probably shouldn't be involved in the game. Coach, you guys only forced I think six interceptions last year. Anything you're going to try and do to bait Dak Prescott into some bad decisions? Well, hopefully, interceptions start with pass rush. You know, and get push on the pocket and. Uh, you know, making him throw where he's not comfortable just standing back there. That's the first thing that has to happen with, you know, causing more, creating more turnovers is you got to get a better pass rush. And so obviously, you know, we're going to hopefully get, we've got some experience there and hopefully we can get after him a little bit.